Hi, in this video I'll show you how to set up the component from scratch. I create a new character using character class. Then I add skeletal mesh. Keep in mind that you must add physical animation along with get up component. I copy default character control code, do not waste your time. and paste it into the newly created character class so I can use it for this demo. Then I add camera. This is default logic. Let's increase distance a bit for a better view. These steps are not required for components functionality. I'm doing this because I created new character class. If you are using any class other than player, you do not need the camera. I add a new character into the scene. Then enable auto possess player for this character and disable it for the old one. Everything works okay. I can control it as you can see. Great. I create new anim blueprint. Then copy and paste logic from the old one. You do not need this if your character already has movement behavior. I'm doing this for demo purposes, so character could idle and run as default one. Component setup also does not require these steps. And now pay attention that I add ragdoll interface. If you don't know what it is, check documentation on Epic Games site. This is important. Briefly speaking, it is required for events and event calls functionality. I also copy and paste this to avoid full setup process. You can do the same. This part of logic required for ragdoll component functionality. And setup variables then. I'm using nodes, which cast to my demo character. You must switch the cast to your own character. You must replace it or call all events again. You also must add all events. Events colored with red are anim notify. Open montages and you can see it. This is base knowledge. Check the documentation on site of Epic Games to learn how it works.
tape machine controls character behavior and blends animations. I'll take it from the default character. Here is an important step. I add slot. It's required for montage functionality. You may have a different ones if you name them differently. I'm using default slot. I'll copy pre-configured blend from the sample. You can do the same or add a new one. Why I'm copying it? Because in blend has some important configs and I've spent a few hours creating them. Set up this prior to final animation pose, but after all your animation logic. Another important step, blend type is exp in out. Set true blend time to zero because we need faster blend poses if characters stop falling and ready to stand. Set a false blend time to 1. This gives you more smooth animation transitions. It is simple logic. Idle or run. Pay attention that I add a new state and name it for logic. You can name it whatever you want. Block must work to both sides. Let's compare variable is player fall with true. Animation will switch to state if so. And state existing block with false. This is important. I copy state logic. False state. A few things are happening here. If the lag falls, one animation is played. If another lag, then another animation. Each lag has its own animation. They also blend animations while falling. Blend poses by ball nodes have its own settings, so you should also copy it or check carefully at least. You can check the sample and do all setup manually. I've spent three hours for animations mixing and transitions setup. You must retarget all amounts to your skeleton to make them work. I check if everything is correct. You can see damage effect in the sample. Please remember that you are buying the component, not the game. All you need is call events from Ragdoll and connect it to the event. The component will do the rest. I'm showing where I get this event. I attach the event to character damage effect, rocket explosion in our case. Let's check that character will get a damage only from the rocket. And call an event Ragdoll effect. Everything is simple. I've spent a month creating the component. That's why I use some time copy and paste in this video. Otherwise, it would took too much of your time. Sorry, I haven't shown an important thing. 
in skeletal mesh, you must set UE4 underscore mannequin underscore physics asset from the demo character. It will work differently. You can do a retarget for this asset if you are using another one. Or just use this one. More info about how to make a physics asset retarget you can find on product page or from link in the description. That's it. Good luck.